Kia ora, good evening. When help can finally get its feet on the ground, this is what they'll find in Tonga. The first images taken at ground level show what the tsunami and volcanic ash have done between them. But progress is being made. The runway should be cleared for an Air Force Mercy flight tomorrow, and the Navy should get there the following day to help evacuate the worst hit areas. But as help arrives and things become clearer, so too might the scale of the casualties and fatalities. Pacific Affairs correspondent Michael Mora reports. Aucklander Moti Pahuli was born on Namuka Island and grew up on neighbouring Mango Island. His homeland is not just destroyed, he's also lost a family member. Absolutely devastated. Um, not only uh, we've lost uh, a relative, very close relative, uh, but everything else in the little island is gone. It was a beautiful little island. It was, it was a little paradise. This is the island before the eruption and after. He says his relative, Tisa Kafuika, was killed when the island was hit by the waves. Wife of uh, one of my cousins, uh, very sad. Her and her husband uh, have been outstanding doing everything in, in the island. The damage on Mango has been described as catastrophic. One person was saying that the ash covered the whole island and if you can sink your index fingers to the ground, they will disappear into the ash that covered the ground. All houses were destroyed on Mango Island and we have to count exactly how many that is and, and exactly what the population was that's been displaced and evacuated. These pictures show the debris strewn streets along the western coast of Tonga's main island. Trees upended, homes destroyed. Thoughts and prayers remain uh, with the families who are very anxious uh, about what's happened in Tonga, those who are here in New Zealand and also those who are experiencing uh, the hardships. There's been catastrophic damage on Atata Island too, just north of the main island, prompting the evacuation of just over 100 residents there to the main island Tongatapu. For Nui Fua Island, 69 residents and Mango's 36 are being taken to Namuka Island. This is what Fonui Fua looks like now. Two of those islands, Mango and Fonui Fua, uh, will undergo an ev evacuation of the numbers that are there, uh, and our Navy vessels may well be in a position to help uh, with that effort. The Tongan government has called this an unprecedented disaster. Our Navy vessels are on their way, but it'll take at least until Friday at the earliest. The C-130 is also delayed until the ash is cleared, from Tongatapu's airport. Well, kia ora, Michael. When can we expect the Hercules to get in there and deliver aid? Well, Mike, ash is expected to be cleared from the airport today, but one of the challenges, according to the UN, is that ash continues to fall in small amounts. So it's a bit of an ongoing job for the volunteers working at the airport, many of whom are just using brooms. However, if it is confirmed as cleared tomorrow morning, that's when the Herc could get that window to get in there. Now, just in terms of communications, Digicel is trying to establish a 2G connection, but they would only provide fairly limited and patchy phone services to the people of Tongan. As for that undersea cable that's been severed and supports so much of Tonga's internet traffic, it could now take up to four weeks before it's repaired. Tanakwe, Michael.